Number two, uh, confusion isn't uh, isolated to just TNA. Uh, so I ask why would uh, the, the Beast Incarnate be made to look like an underdog or less significant of a force in many ways? This isn't a story of discontent between two men, but rather a story of an old man holding on to a past glory, a sentiment made very clear by, as Heyman said, that this wasn't a match for Brock to win, it, but it was for, for Taker to not lose. Yeah. WWE just has that complacency to, you know, I, and it's the same way they book Randy Orton. They always make him like this underdog, like weakling sort of like, and Brock Lesnar's not a weakling, but you know, they always make it as if you know the face of you know whatever is supposed to intimidate them and, and i really feel like the whole point the the formula of these these streak matches is you have to make me believe that he might not get it this time right like that's but like oh they could give it to buck oh they could oh, oh Shawn michaels career is on the line oh would they really do that right now uh, that's if you're not doing that, then you're not selling the match, and it's not as interesting. Other than I'm watching this to make to watch Undertaker beat the next guy. Right. And I I, I, I will say to that testament, and I personally I'm excited for that match. I think it's gonna be a really great match. Uh, however, how many people think that Brock Lesnar is ending the streak? Well, mm-hmm. how many people thought CM Punk was ending the streak? There's only one person left in the WWE <laughs> who they can book. That realist? No, no, no. I'm not gonna say him. I'm not gonna say Sting. There's okay, only good. one person left. In the <laughs> You're about to give me a heart attack, and I was gonna lose it. No, 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 no. There's only one person realistically that they can book against Taker at WrestleMania, that almost everyone would think would have a realistic shot at actually breaking the streak, and that's John Cena. Uh, I agree with that. That's that's the only I agree person with that. because. When Punk got the advantage over Taker last year, you know, nailing him with the urn, scattering the ashes everywhere, as great of a moment as that was, the first thing all of us said were, well, he's definitely not winning now. Yeah. Like, everyone everyone accepts that the Undertaker is going to win. Yeah. Because the way they sell that he might not win is in is within the context of the match. It's not within the build. Because unless uh, I, d- I disagree against- with that, but I guess I guess I can amend my last statement that it, it's not always a formula of making him believe this guy can win, uh, making the guy believe that he can win, and making you believe that he believes he can win. Uh, but I guess in this, in the case of CM Punk, uh, I, I guess it is really good to say um, he, I was really built to be like you want to see him kick this guy's ass, you know? Yeah, um, exactly. I'm, I'm, and you want and, and people just want to see Brock and Taker. Just- truck it out with each other and that's true that's true it's not always about yeah the, the yeah because it's going to be in the match where you think like oh man brock's really beating the shit up and maybe he can be taker that's when you start to think because you're brock lesnar is not known for his match build-ups he's known for his matches mm-hmm. uh lb what do you have any thoughts on this uh i think that um I, I don't think that they uh, they book Brock Lesnar to be an underdog all the time. I think they're doing it in this situation because that's how anybody is presented against the Undertaker. He's supposed to be the Undertaker, the one that everybody looks like an underdog against because it's the streak, you know? No, I don't think um, – I well, actually, no. I think there is a slim chance that uh, Brock Lesnar will break the streak because I think I said this in the Raw wrap-up. We could just see Brock Lesnar kill an old man. <laughs> That's very true. He could, <laughs> very could true. just beat an old man to death on national television. Yep. We'll see. Uh, from the chat, uh, some ideas. Uh, Alex is wondering if uh, he thinks that they're going to repeat the Giant Gonzalez, where uh, Taker wins by DQ after uh, Brock Lesnar uses Ethan. If, if so, I'm, if that happens, I'm walking out of the Mercedes Benz suit. <laughs> it's like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. I don't care if Daniel Bryan wants to play with the title. I, the minute you say, I think they're going to repeat the match against Giant Gonzalez, out. Just fucking out. I'd only accept that if Taker came in on a giant fan boat led by alligators. I'd accept that if Brock Lesnar comes in a muscle suit. Um, <laughs> also, <laughs>